hey guys so i am starting off with box braids in my hair i did um natural box braids all over my head um with my natural hair and to start off i am going to take a piece of crochet um curly crochet hair and attach that to the ends of the braids of, of my hair so i'm starting off with one braid and i'm just braiding it down until my natural hair stops and this is going to create going to create length to the um faux locks as well as have the faux locks have curly ends and i'm using presto curl by free Trist. and the color that i'm using for both the curly and the um locks is number 30. so next step is to use cuban twist double strand hair in 16 inch or super long and I always use a crochet needle. I attach the crochet needle to the um, root of my box braid so that um, the the Marley hair will stay on my hair. It won't slip out. So I make one side of the hair longer and then I start wrapping the um, Marley hair around the braid and going in one direction. So you see that it's going um, to the right side and that's going to my left so I just keep wrapping it and holding it taut or tightly when I'm wrapping it making sure that it's covering all of my natural hair that none of my natural hair or my braid is showing so you won't see any dark hair like any black hair even if you do have like um, the same color as your natural hair you still want to make sure it's all covered up to protect your natural hair or the braid and um, to make it look nice so once that runs out, which it will, because you're wrapping it so close together, I start to add another piece, making it not too thick because I don't want the bottom to be thicker than the top part. So I just attach a little bit to that end and keep wrapping it in the same direction till I get to just having like about three inches of the curly hair um, left out. Once I'm done, I use scissors and cut that piece off and then keep wrapping it around. And then to um, lock that in place, I use a flat iron. Now I normally would use like a less expensive flat iron than this like a flat iron that I don't really care about but I don't have one of those at the moment so I'm just using my baby list but use any flat iron that you have um, that gets hot but that isn't too important to you so I use that all over the lot to make sure that um, it stays in place and that um, it burns away the, uh, the flyaway hairs and then I just rub the ends together so I'm going to show you that method again right here is um, a shorter braid this is right by my edges and I have shorter hair right there so I'm going to show you how I do that I take the small piece and then I start braiding at the ends again and this one is shorter so the piece is going to be longer so for that first braid that was pretty long I cut the um I had used a piece that was cut in half because the hair is pretty long for that piece that's really short I used the piece as whole so I don't cut it in half I think the crochet here is about 22 inches maybe either 18 or 22 I would check and um, I'll leave that in, a in the description box um, so I do this the same way I just um, use a longer piece for the shorter for the real short parts of my hair so then you know I use the crochet needle and attach it at the root and make sure that I'm wrapping the hair around in the same direction every time for every lock and um, that I'm doing it tight um like close together like i'm wrapping each time that i wrap the marley hair around my hair and hold it with my finger that i'm doing it close together that's not leaving any of my braids showing um and making sure that it's tight as well and making sure that i get the marley hair pretty close to my roots so that um it's nice and neat and it's not too loose and it looks great and looks pretty natural as well 
Uh, with this color, it's not going to look super duper natural, but it will look beautiful. If I was doing it with black hair or um, natural brown, it would look super duper real. Like when I do my sister's locks, people like she gets so many compliments because it looks so realistic the way that I do them. But these kind of slugs um, aren't as realistic, but they're very beautiful. So I'm just continuing to do the same thing. Keep wrapping it. And if I need to add more, I just use more, making it, um, just making sure that it doesn't get thicker. Leaving um, at least three inches of the curly hair out. And then I seal it with a flat iron and the flat iron helps to um, to get locked in that it won't unravel basically. Yeah, the hair won't unravel and that it will um, take away some of the flyaways. I'm just showing you guys the one. Okay, so I completed that all over my head and I'm done. So instead of me having it just all like that, I decided to add a little bit of layers. Layers to the curls to add some dimension. And um, yeah, I just thought it would look a little bit better if um, it had layers since I started. I had some of the pieces um, a little bit higher. I started the curling pieces a little bit higher than others because that's how I like to do my faux locks. I like to not make everything the same length because it's more realistic that way. So you could, this is optional, but if you do decide to do it, just do it to your liking. Making sure everything like matches up and looks great. So next step is to use some mousse. Um, I did have my favorite mousse. I have to go probably to Walmart or buy online. I ran out. So I'm just using some mousse that I got from the Breeze Spa store. I believe it's called Vigoro. I used to use this back in the day. I used to, they, this used to be my favorite, but now the Gatsby is definitely my favorite. It gives me so much shine. But yeah, this one works pretty good too. So I'm just using that on the ends of the um, blocks. To define the curls and to keep the curls in place and you can also use this like once your locks start getting old to use that to redefine the curls and just um cut up and then you could cut out the little fussy parts and use that and it'll, it will revive it um, i also use a little bit on the lock part too because sometimes it sheds from um burning the hair basically so now i'm just kind of styling the locks to my liking um and I'm going to do my edges as well. So for my edges, I'm using my favorite gel. I'm using the Got To Be Glam Forest um, Sculpting Gel. So I'll just apply a little to each part portion of my um, hairline. So you'll see me. I do mine really simple for the most part because I have like a small forehead. I can't do a whole lot of baby hair. Um, once a lot of um, of my natural hair comes out, like my edges come out, then I could like play around with that a little bit more. But I still have to be careful not to put too much because I have such a small forehead. I can't have too much up there. Um, so that's about it for the edges. I keep it pretty simple, like I said. And I am loving these locks. They are so beautiful. Yes. I love this color. This color looks very beautiful on brown skin and caramel skin colors. Um, if you have like um, visible brown eyes, that's a plus. It looks very pretty in person. And now I am going to do a top knot bun. Just a quick messy top knot bun on top. And those are the two styles that I mainly wore it in, the top knot bun and hanging down. Here are some photos. Make sure to follow me on Instagram at chronofglorywhere underscore. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to this YouTube channel. I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.